Hi guys, it's Patricia and today it's a special type of video for me. It is a combined empties and a bring back my bar warm review. What I like to do twice a year is combine those two and put the video out a few days before the end of the month. That way if you're one of those people that want to hear about how scents perform, then you can check out as many videos as possible and get as many people's feedback as possible and I always encourage you to watch multiple videos. So remember all of these are just my own opinions and how they perform in my house. Everybody is different. So let's get into the empties part first. I have my bin and I will put the timestamp for the bring back my bar portion if you want to just jump to that. I'm going to organize my items and I will be right back. So what we're going to do is normally I start with the bars but we're actually going to do everything in reverse. We're going to start with the other items first. On a boring note, I went through another bulb. So I'm using up my color bulbs. I put my green one in. So I kind of like it. Green is a little bit nicer than the orange that I had here before. The orange I actually put down in my son's room. I used up an all-purpose cleaner concentrate in lemon verbena. So this one here is something that you add water to, you dilute it, and then you use it as an all-purpose cleaner. I don't recommend using it on glass, and I do not recommend using it on floors. For me, it leaves like a, a slippery, greasy film on floors, so everything else works very well. This is not my favorite scent, by the way, but I'm looking forward to trying. I, I pur purchased Blue Grotto because it's one of my husband's favorites and I thought maybe he'll clean more. <laughs> For laundry, I used up a washer mix and a dryer disc in Sunkissed Citrus. This is a nice scent. To me, I get a lot of orange and a little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, I like this one. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase it in laundry. It was probably average in laundry, didn't stand out, didn't um, seem to be a, a poor performer. It just wasn't my, wasn't really what I wanted my clothes to smell like, but yeah, I do like that scent in general. And I also finished up a dryer disc in Ocean. I just had one left and I've actually just put this in because I don't have a dryer disc of white tea and cactus, which is what I'm using right now. I find this particular scent, um, some people say it's really strong and other people don't get much from it. I am one of those people that usually don't get much from Ocean, so it kind of makes me sad when something doesn't work out for you. I finished up one of these soaps. This is my last one. This was in Mandarin, Violet Leaf and Vintage Leather. These are very, very strong soaps in the sense like they're very compact and they don't, you know how some soaps, when water hits them, they just kind of slough off to nothing. This is very, very hard. And so it does take a bit to get it to lather up and it, so it does seem to last quite a long time. Okay, so let's get into the bars that I went through. The first one we're gonna talk about is Harbor's Edge. Sorry about the lighting here today. So the scent, this is actually August 2019 scent of the month coming up. And the scent notes for this are beach grass, flowering raspberry, northern oak fern, and then it talks about waves and salty musk. So I used three cubes to make samples and I warmed the rest of my house. I warmed some here in my bedroom, some in my child's bathroom, and one in my youngest child's bedroom. It definitely performed best in the bathroom for me. I could smell it the best there. It seemed to last the longest there. So those are mini warmers and it's a smaller zone. So this is not a favorite scent of mine. I'm okay with it, but it's interesting to see. I'm hoping Scentsy gets away from some of the fresh scents. It'd be really nice to move into some bakery, even some spicy scents. So we'll see what fall is gonna bring for us. I finished up from the Aladdin collection, One Jump Ahead. The scent notes on this are tangy orange, ripe apple and vanilla. This was a really, really nice scent. However, I found it kind of wore off very, very quickly. And because of that, I actually removed it from my Scentsy Club. Really liked the scent, just didn't last very long. It kind of just fizzled away. It was fairly strong and then kaput maybe like three or four hours later. So a little bit of a disappointment for me, but unfortunately it was a great scent. So for me, I usually want things to be good performers and great scents. So that one kind of didn't pass both those requirements for me. I also finished up a whole new world. So this one is Plumberry, Violet Leaf, and White Woods. So this one here I brought on a trip to White Point Beach Lodge in Nova Scotia. We went there for a like delayed Mother's Day gift to my mom. And I had a few scents for my niece to smell. She's 20 or 19. Anyway, she picked, she said either this one or Summer Rain. So I went with this one because it's a bit lighter. And sometimes there was a group of six of us and I thought sometimes if there's a bunch of people, you don't want to have a scent that's going to be very strong and overpowering. So this scent is on the lighter side of things, definitely on the lighter side. 
it kind of reminds me of a fresh, like one of those other fresh scents we're getting, a tiny bit of floral. It was pleasant. Um, it felt a little bit stronger, but it still wasn't very strong. So I finished that one up. I finished up as part of Tester Tuesday, kiwi fruit. This one is Granada, kiwi and sugar cane. And Granada is pomegranate. So yeah, this one here, it was just okay for me. The scent appeal was okay. It's, it's kind of a tangy with that sugar cane. It gives it a lot of um, lightness in the air. And actually on the suggestion of one of my subscribers, I mixed this with um, sugared strawberry and I like that a little bit better. So this one here, you can kind of see on the back, it's a little bit oily. So I just wanted to use it up. And when it came up in Tester Tuesday, I thought great, great time to use it up. So I also finished up Midnight in Curacao. This is a spring and summer scent from 2018 that did not return. It's a very exotic fruity scent and a little bit different. The scent notes are currant, orange and mirabelle plum. So it's a definitely a sophisticated scent. Very rich with that currant and the plum. You don't really, I don't really get a lot of orange with this. Um, it didn't seem to last quite as long as another scent I'm going to talk about here in a second, but I did like it. But because it didn't last as long as I would prefer, I did not purchase any more. So this is my last bar. I also finished up a bar of huckleberry and clementine. I believe this was a scent of the month was it June or July 2017? Around that time frame. And the scent notes on this are basically huckleberry preserves, clementine, and a sprig of strawberry vine. This one is, I really, really like this one, and it lasts and lasts and lasts for a fruity scent, I find. Um, very tart and juicy. So you get that huckleberry. And I kind of think it reminds me of a blackberry, but it turns out that they're closer to a blueberry. Who knew? Anyway, with that orange in there, the clementine, it really brightens it up. You don't get a boatload of that, just a little touch. Yeah, this one was a pretty good performer. That is Huckleberry and Clementine. Okay, <laughs> I have to, I have to apologize. Sometimes I'm wrong in what I think from cold sniff to warm. So in other words, I think something on cold and my mind changes. Now, did I come 180 on this? No, not really, but I really liked this a lot better than my Cold Sniffs first impression video. And it is the bar of Gone Camping. And I know, I was so against this, but, oh, and still smelling it here, it smells horrible. I warmed it um, a couple cubes in my bonus room. It was a little strong in there, kind of enclosed area. So I thought a little too strong, a little too intense. Let me read you the scent notes for this one. It's soft lilies, meadow breeze, and amber woods. You don't really get a lot of soft lilies and meadow breeze. You get a lot of amber woods. So I thought, well, let me tone it down. And one way you can tone down scents is putting it in a big area. So I put it in my open concept space. When, I, when we go to bed, we have three warmers that light up the stairs. So I put it there. And it was quite, I don't know if nice is the word, but I didn't mind it. And it kind of reminded me of a product from Glade called the Sultry Amber Rhythms. I think they have melts and candles. It's, it's very similar to that. I made the mistake one time and called it Slutty Amber, but um, it's very similar to that when warmed. A little bit different, but along that vibe. So then I finished the other three cubes recently. And again, I didn't mind it so much. So you know what? If I actually saw a bar of this somewhere, I might actually grab it. Because in my open concept layout, it wasn't... It wasn't that you could pick up a lot of that burning rubber, new boot smell. It just kind of dissipated to smell like a leathery, musky, um, almost like the Glade product I think has rum and things like that. So it's very deep and dark, but, but it wasn't so bad. I didn't pick up a lot of smokiness or anything like that. But still, smelling it in the clam, it smells disgusting. So anyway, <laughs> go figure. Going right now downstairs, I am finishing up an old bar of Kahiko Hula. This is a really, really good one. It's passion fruit, mango, and papaya. And it's got like a little bit of underlying creaminess that just kind of softens those three fruits. Just a touch, and it is so, so nice. Uh, one of my family members commented yesterday, they said the house smells good. So that was Kahiko Hula that did that. And I've been working hard because I only have about 500 bricks. No, I'm just joking, I don't have that many. I have a lot though, and so I've been working hard to finish up some bricks. 
And I finished up a pineapple coconut vanilla. And this one is basically pineapple, coconut, and it also has blue fig. So it's a little bit more of a body care vibe with that blue fig. It doesn't really smell like perfume. It smells more like a pretty lotion that you would put on plus pineapple and vanilla. And more of a fragrant pineapple and a fragrant vanilla versus a foodie pineapple and vanilla. But this is good. It wasn't a standout for me when I started, but now I, I kind of miss it. So I probably will definitely pick up a bar of that. I used up a bunch of testers in sweet pea and vanilla. This was raspberry sweet pea and vanilla. It starts out a lot of raspberry and a lot of sweet pea and a little bit of vanilla. First thing that leaves is the raspberry and then you're left with sweet pea and vanilla. And then the, the dynamics kind of change and you get a lot of vanilla with a powdery sweet pea. So yeah, it's pretty good. I can see why this is a top seller. And also from Tester Tuesday, a scent that has been retired for a while is Rosemary Mint. This was nice. It was uh, mint and it had uh, tea tree oil and it also had rosemary, but not a lot of rosemary. Mm, I like this one. It reminds me of like a spearmint plus an herbal mint, a little bit of tea tree, which has a very deep herbal tone and then tiny bit of rosemary. And the rosemary is not like a fresh rosemary. It's almost like a dried rosemary because it's because you can't smell it very much. So I'm, that's why I'm thinking it's it's dry. But anyway, I like it. This is good. I really like this. If you like Just Breathe, you may want to give that one a try if it ever comes back and bring back my bar. Now, speaking of bring back my bar, we're going to transition to that. Okay, so this is going to be my bring back my bar warm review. I'm going to try to only go like a minute percent. If you have any additional questions for me, leave them in the comments below or message me and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. And as always, I always look forward to your guys' feedback. And don't forget to stay tuned to the question of the day at the end of the video. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go through things in kind of a Patricia order. What that means is first I'm going to do the, the ones that I would not repurchase and then we'll kind of go through different categories. And I have like a cheat sheet here because I kind of kept notes as I was going. So I'll probably refer down. But one of the scents I would not repurchase, I warmed four cubes of it. It is Maui Mist. So the scent notes on this are rose, lilac, wood, musk, and creamy vanilla. Basically, this one is very, I had it being very long lasting because I had, at first I could smell like lilacs and that musk, and then towards the end it was very woodsy. So that woodsy note kind of carried it a long time. I let it go, I let it go quite a bit. In one area, I let it go three days, and another day area, four days. Yeah, and I think this would be good for men or women. I think this would be good in a bathroom, in a small to medium room. I don't think this would be good in an open concept space. I don't think it would be strong enough. Strength and throw was probably between six and a half and seven. But again, lasted a long time at that lower intensity. And I would just would say if you really like musky scents, um, I don't find this very tropical to me. I'm kind of surprised at the name, but Maui Mist, I uh, was definitely surprised at how long lasting it was. It wasn't a favorite of mine, but it is a favorite of many. Another one I would not repurchase, but I did warm four cubes was Winter Candy Apple. And this one is described as, and sorry, you know what happened? My son got a hold of my notes and he, he anyway, they got all wet. <laughs> So this one is descri described as tart green apples and sweet candy. And this one is definitely sweet. Call your dentist. Woo! It reminds me of like a Halloween candy. I think you like rip them open and you pour them in your mouth and they pop. I mean, it's not effervescent, but it reminds me of like a sour green apple candy. And it's like pop, pop, pop. I, I, I've had something that tasted like that. Yeah, so what happened with this one? I didn't find it lasted very long. But man, was it strong at the beginning. Whoa. And then as it warmed, it kind of developed like a shampoo characteristic. I think like fru fructus or fructus shampoo or some sort of hair care product that remind me of a little bit perfumey, a green apple. So that is winter candy apple. Not very long lasting, but pretty strong and intense. Starts off very sweet, kind of ends more tangy perfumey hair care product. The next one that would be in a not repurchase for me, but I did warm quite a bit of it, six cubes, and that is the brown wax of Root Bear Barrel. Now, for me, this is just not in my scent wheelhouse, but it did fairly well. I was a little surprised at its performance. I thought it was gonna blow me out of the house. Sorry, the, the scent notes are basically like a fresh mug of root beer. 
basically, I felt like I could smell sassafras. I think that's what it's called. Like, it's very spicy. It's got a kick. I, I describe it as not your average root beer. It's like an independent crafted root beer. And, you know, even smelling it here now, I, I like it more than I thought I would. I'm not big into cola scents and root beer scents. And I'm not really big into fizzy scents, to be, be honest. But this one here, I put in my open concept area and I was like, oh, I'm surprised it's not stronger. And then later it felt like it got intense. So I think it has to build in the room. It's one of those ones. But I think I only left it going two days in each location. In my bonus room, I had it about a strength and throw of eight for two cubes. And in my open concept area, it started off at about a six, but it went up to about seven and a half. So I would say if you put this in a medium area, it's going to be no problem. You're definitely going to be able to smell it. If you put it in an open layout, it depends. And you may find it builds in the room, that one. So that's root beer barrel. Another one that I warmed and decided it would not be a repurchase for me is Cambridge and that I warmed five cubes of this one. I warmed some of my open concept layout, which was four cubes, and I warmed another one of my youngest child's room. The scent notes on this one are sweet lemon, pine needle, and vetiver. And vetiver is like a grass, and it, it's used a lot in masculine fragrances, so this is a little bit more on the cologne side of things. And it kind of reminded me just a touch of Yankees, A Calm and Quiet Place, but maybe a little bit more intense and spicy. And it's not like you really get pine needle, but you, that kind of brings in that manly, rugged scent with the cologne twist. It combines with that lemongrass. I kind of like this one, and I, some, I kind of toyed on whether I'd pick up one more, but I have so much wax. So this one here lasted a fairly long time. So, and on day two, on, on day one in my open layout, I had it going about eight out of 10. And day two, it was about maybe four out of 10, but still enjoyable just a little bit more relaxed of a scent. And I would say you could warm this in any area of your home because it's very versatile. Um, it has the strength to go in an open concept layout. If you wanna warm in a bedroom or a man cave, a library, um, I probably wouldn't wanna warm it in a kitchen, but that's just me. That is Cambridge. Okay, so probably no big surprise. The next one here is not a favorite of mine. <laughs> And this one was a little bit different than the past ones I've worn, past bar that I've warmed, and it is Quiver. So this one here is described as vanilla flower, sandalwood, and sultry night blooming jasmine. And actually it said innocent vanilla flower, but this is far from innocent. The lady that wears Quiver, she knows what she wants and she's going for it. And she's on a mission. So very seductive, this lady. Sultry. Woo. So the thing about it, it's very like heavy, perfumey cologne. It's definitely more perfumey than cologne, but it's heavy. It's not light and airy. It means business. Now, this was not as strong as the bar I've warmed in the past. Definitely not as strong. But what stood out to me is it lasted a very long time. I warmed two cubes in my daughter's room and two cubes in my bonus room. Now, I wanna say I had some problems with my bonus room because I've li lived in this house, it's almost my third summer here, and something happens in that room around this time of year where it gets really, really hot. And I probably shouldn't use it as a testing zone, but I'm gonna mention one scent at the end of the video. Just remember, my bonus room is hard to get a throw this time of year, but I want you to remember that. But um, I definitely use my daughter's room more as a judge. So this lasted many days in my daughter's room, four or five days. And my daughter kept screwing around with my testing. She kept turning off my warmers and I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know how long things last anyway? But yeah, this one was very long lasting at a lower intensity. If you like perfumey scents, if you like ones that are a bit heavier, say like Sedona Sunset, something like that, you may enjoy Quiver. That one I warmed four cubes. So I will not repurchase, but I will happily finish the bar. Another one that might not be a huge surprise for not a repurchase for me is Huckleberry Sage. Huckleberry Sage. Now I must say that packaging on this is gorgeous. So the scent notes on this are cranberry, huckleberry, and silver sage. And sage is in the mint family. I looked it up. Anyway, one thing I find about this is last time I found when I warmed it in the past, I really struggled with the volatility of the scent. It's almost like the silver sage does something to my nose that it makes it almost like takes, takes my breath away. I didn't find it did that as much this time. As 
it's warming, it kind of does develop like a mentholated kind of smell to it and almost like a stringent toothpaste smell. Just a little bit. Okay, now as it warms for me, I get a lot of like musty smell, not musk-y, must-y, <laughs> M-U-S-T-Y. Just doesn't smell like clean anymore almost smells a little bit ashtray like towards the end to my nose that's just me um, but I definitely enjoyed it better than in the past when I've warmed it in the past so I think I've, I'm kind of proud of myself that came around to this one a little bit and it's definitely a good lasting scent performs well you know a good solid medium scent throw maybe seven and both locations I warmed it in so I was very fairly pleased with the performance if you like scents with um, like a huckleberry cranberry vibe more huckleberry than cranberry. If you like scents that have sage in them, you'll probably like that one. So let's go into the bars. There's a few bars here that I kind of toyed with whether or not I should get an additional bar. So the next few, that's what we will go through. So the first one is Cottage Garden. Now this one is a floral. In this round of Bring Back My Bars, there has been a lot of floral notes. Not necessarily a lot of florals, except for this one. A lot of floral notes I think that turned people off most of the scents keep in mind did not come off extremely floral except for this one so if you see some floral notes ask around get other people's opinions because sometimes it's just there to give sweetness not necessarily a floral vibe so anyway this one is all about the florals it's white honeysuckle morning glory jasmine lily of the valley and rose okay so this one here I put it uh, I had used up five cubes. I used four of them in my open concept space because it's strong. So I thought well, I'll put it there. It did well, seven and a half, and I used it for two days. The other one I used in my son's room in a small bedroom was strength and throw like nine out of 10. Very, very strong. It kind of changes on day two, I find, and I don't really like day two of this scent. So I think on day two, I'm getting a floral that I can't recognize. On day one, I think I get a lot of honeysuckle, and I'm not really sure what floral I'm getting on day two, but I don't like it as much. But I just wanna say that my six foot four, 250 pound husband commented twice how much he loved this scent. I don't know, who knew? So I was gonna get a bar for him, but I'm thinking three cubes, I'll just warm them in the entrance way on three different occasions, and so he'll get to enjoy it that way, because I, I really didn't love it enough to pick up another bar. The next one that we're going to talk about is one that at first I wasn't sure if I liked it, but I was kind of came around to it and it is black currant bubbly. So this one here, I used four cubes and this was pretty strong, seven and a half to eight out of 10 in those locations. And it was pretty long lasting. It really builds and builds in the room. So for me, I was impressed with that being a fruity scent. Now this is in region, it's a region two scent, I think, and a region three scent. So I think it's in the clearance in Australia. So this one has currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar. And obviously it implies it has a little bit of champagne bubbles. So if you like scents like Dazzling Pomegranate or Berry Cosmo Boogie, um, something with a little bit of tang and currant, and Sensi seems to love currant. Some people hate currant. So it's one of those scents that you either like or you don't like. Ironically, I'm in the middle with the currant. But yeah, black currant bubbly is a surprise to me how it performed fairly well in my home. So on day two, it was, it was like seven out of 10 strength. That usually never happens. So anyway, that is black currant bubbly. Another scent that I kind of toyed with picking up more of, but I decided probably not would be Autumn Sunrise and that I warmed five cubes. This one is tart pomegranate, raspberries, nutmeg and spiced cinnamon stick. Now, this reminds me of like a tangerine clementine scent. Doesn't say anything about that. I mean, that's the color of the wax, but I don't really get tons of pomegranate and I don't get tons of raspberry. I get more of an orangey clementine tangerine vibe. Very sweet and tangy. I don't get a ton of spices. It's a softened spice scent. So if you're kind of scared of spices, but you love to kind of just venture into them a little bit, then you might wanna pick up Autumn Sunrise. So this one here, what happened was I only left it going a couple of days in each location. And in one location it really struggled, which was my bonus room.
but in my son's room it was about a seven and a half out of ten so that was pretty good I would say stick to medium rooms for this one and I've never smelled Mandarin Moon but I wonder if it's at all close I don't know anyway one thing I want to say about this was when I warmed it I kind of picked up a memory of like when you go to the salon and like if they're doing highlights something of that process smelled a little bit like this not really chemical but almost like a something one of the products that they use must have brought a memory back to me about that so yeah I do like it but probably just not enough to buy anymore so the next one is give me passion flower so I warmed five cubes and I warmed my old bar so this is the new bar and the old bar <laughs> and a beautiful color on this one so this one is one of those florals but it's also disguised with a fruit so the set notes on this are passion fruit mango and hibiscus wild hibiscus sorry so this one you can definitely smell the passion fruit and you can definitely smell hibiscus mango mm, it's harder for me oh this one's a little bit oily i don't know if you can see you probably can't see a little bit anyway okay so lots of passion fruit a little bit of mango so but i would say the overall scent i get two-thirds fruit and like one third floral and the floral is a wild hibiscus which is a very bright floral almost like a watery floral so this one is very very pleasant if you're on the fence about this one even a little bit i would pick up more i would pick one up and give it a try mm, it kind of reminds me like a little bit of blue grotto it kind of reminds me of the passion fruit part of camu camu the hibiscus part i think that's an aerial um, yeah, it's a good it's a good scent. I think because I have this plus this I'll be okay I might pick up one bar, but I'm not sure so that is give me passion flower definitely um, strong So you can warm that in the open concept layout I warmed one cube in my mudroom laundry room and the other cube in my open concept layout I left both going just two days, but definitely strong can hold its own in a big open floor plan the last one we're gonna include with the ones that I really debated on if I wanted to get any more is the lime green colored wax of spiced pear so this one has scent notes of simmered paired simmer simmer pears plum cider and rich vanilla wood something about this one remind me a lot of two scents <laughs> it reminded me of jump and jelly bean and then if you added like winterberry apple tea and then take those two scents and then d bring the volume down dramatically because this one to me wasn't very strong it was a pre pretty low level performing scent but it seemed to last a long time especially in my son's room I had it going there for almost four days maximum strength of throw there was like seven and a half and then obviously it dies down dies down in my laundry room it didn't do quite as well I left it going two days and it was a little bit lighter at six and a half out of ten but yeah if if you're scared about the spiced part, please don't be scared because it's very, very gentle on the spice. Another great entry level fall scent for people that don't love fall scents, but you want just a touch of spice, this is great. And the pear, it's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. So again, it basically reminds me of, I don't know why, but Jumping Jelly Bean I think has a lot of pear and Winterberry Apple Tea has that like cider, you know tea kind of a little bit of spice i feel like if you put those two together and then really dialed it down quite dramatically for intensity you would get something like this so i think the reason i would not repurchase this is it just wasn't strong enough for me i liked the scent just not strong enough okay so the next group is kind of ones that i'll probably pick up maybe one or two so let's do watermelon patch this one i warmed five cubes I warmed one in my mudroom and the other area I put in my open concept space and it was pretty strong in both areas. I would say about eight in my mudroom and maybe seven and a half in my open layout. The only problem is it's not a very long lasting scent. So it's very watermelon candy, kind of like a sour watermelon candy, but without like smelling too sour, just smelling that actual candy. But it kind of reminds me of like when you're chewing like a watermelon gum. And it's really intense at the beginning and then it just kind of fizzles out that's kind of what i got with this so but if you like watermelon scents i would say give this one a try it says vine ripened watermelon but i think watermelon are some of those scents that are hard to make authentic so 
So the next one, I think I might pick up one bar of this, is My Only Sunshine. So I warmed five cubes of this in two locations. All of these bars I warmed in two locations and tried to use up at least four, four cubes just so I could get an idea. This one has scent notes of golden tuberose, jasmine, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. Normally I'm scared of amber, but it's pretty nice in this. This is happiness in bar form. I don't know what sunshine smells like, but I think they did a pretty good job capturing the essence of something that feels like sunshine. You definitely get like a vanilla, like a brightness, a little bit of brightness from the floral, but it's not like you can read that it's a floral. So everything's me meshed together and blended very nicely. So it's hard to pick out individual things. You just blend together and get like, like a vanilla vibe, the sandalwood, the, the tuberose. The amber is even doing a good job in there. This one I do like. It struggled in my bonus room, which was really, really hot. So when I moved it to my child's room downstairs, it did much better. It lasts a long time. It wasn't very strong, but it lasts a long time. So I think I had it maybe reading at about a six maximum, but again, many days. Not all days were at six intensity, but I could smell it uh, for quite a while and then I decided to move on. I gotta hurry things up. Okay, the next one I probably will pick up a little bit of is Cutie Pie Cupcake. This one was a little bit disappointing because I wanted it to be stronger. So I'll read you the scent notes. It's sweet clementine, yellow cupcake batter, vanilla with sugary icing. I definitely find that the clementine orange vibe is very muted in this. It just gives a, a, slight, a slight tangy citrus tone but it's very dull, so it's not intense if you don't like citrus. I don't even know. If you didn't know that it was in there, I don't even know if you would pick up on it. It smells like a nice golden bakery cupcake or like a shortbread. It smells good. So this one here, I felt like on cold you get more orange, but once you warm it, that kind of goes away. So for me, I maximum strength to throw in two locations. One was six and a half out of ten, and the other one was seven. So I guess that was a little bit, I wanted it to be like an eight or a nine, but it just wasn't. But if you like light bakery scents, like something like churro churro, if that's kind of more your vibe. Um, it definitely doesn't smell like churro churro, but the intensity of it is, is very pleasant, but I just wish it was a tiny bit stronger, but I'm going to pick up more. I'd say this would do great in a small to medium zone, probably not an open layout. I'm not going to try it in my open layout, so that is Cutie Pie Cupcake. I finished up an old bar of cherry almond pie. It had four cubes left, so I have my full bar here. And this one was from 2016 that I warmed. This one I'm probably going to buy a few of. So now we're kind of moving into what ones would I buy a few of. <laughs> and a few for me is probably like three or four. So the scent notes on this are graham crackers, sweet almond, cream, and cherries. I put this in... Um, one cube in my youngest child's room and the rest in my middle child's room. Both areas performed very, very well. Nice and strong. Eight and a half, nine out of ten. Man, oh man, you can get that almond. <laughs> it's very heavy on the almond, especially as you warm it. You do, as time goes on, you get like a little bit of the vibe of the graham crackers and the cream, a little bit of creaminess, but cherries and the cherry is kind of softened by the almond, if that makes any sense. It's very almond predominant, so if you don't like almond, or cherry, you might not want to pick this one up. But it did last a fairly long time. You could warm this in a big area, no problem. You could warm it probably in any area. It might be strong in a small area, but this one was good. And it's funny, I want to just tell you, I have written down off to the side, like on my little notes, overall, would, would I repurchase it? Where, where would I warm it? And if you like a certain scent, you know, you might like this. So for this one, it says repurchase. I said no. And then I crossed that off and said yes. Then I crossed that off and said Scentsy Club. And then I crossed that one off and said maybe. <laughs> so I changed my mind a lot with this one. But I do really like it. And I think part of the problem is when you like a lot of scents, it's hard to juggle your Scentsy Club so it doesn't get out of hand. But that's cherry almond pie. The next one I'm probably going to stock up, which means three or four bars, is Salted Caramel Cupcake. I warmed five cubes. Now, if you remember, I kind of poo-pooed this a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about it and I'm still 
not crazy about it in a certain zone, but I'm gonna pick this up for one particular area. So let me jump to that and I will read you the scent notes for this. It's golden caramel, cocoa, pink sea salt, and a buttery cupcake. So I warmed four of the cubes in my open layout. It did very well there, seven and a half, eight out of 10. I left it in a couple of days. So, so nice. Then I warmed the other cube in my mudroom laundry room and I did not like it there as much because it was almost too intense. And yes, I almost did get a little amber hollow vibe there, but in my open layout, because it's so open, you don't tend to get concentrated versions of the, the scents that you may not love. So I'm definitely gonna pick up more for my open layout. I really, really like this there. It was so, so nice. It reminded me of like, like a caramel and you were baking and the cake. Almost like if you had like shortbread and then a layer of caramel and then like melted chocolate and you cut those into squares and you sprinkled sea salt on the top. That's kind of what it remind me of, which is similar to a cupcake, but yeah, that's what it remind me of. So I will be picking more of that up for my open layout. I think if you like scents like toffee butter crunch, then you should probably try that one. The next one I said I was gonna put in my Scentsy Club, but I'm probably not. I had an old bar. I warmed four cubes on my old bar. Look at that, look at that packaging. And it is wild black cherry. So this is the new bar. So I did not use the new bar, but this is a, a favorite of my daughter's. Basically it is like wild black cherry and it says reminiscent of a cherry soda. Now she loves this. She said it reminds her of Nibs candies. And I went and I, you know what nibs are, right? Not the Twizzler licorice, but the little nibs. They're very cherry-like. I think with that cola influence, it takes away from like that scary part of people thinking it's gonna taste and smell like cough syrup. However, as it warms late in the warming, I feel like it develops a tiny bit of cough syrup vibe. But I find at the beginning, it's, it doesn't. And I find this one really, really throws. It's not super, super intense. It's a fairly intense scent but it really travels. <laughs> so, and I find it lasts a very long time in her bedroom. And the other spot I warmed it was the bonus room. It did fairly well there considering how hot it is. So that is one of those scents that still performed well in the challenging area of the bonus room. And that is wild black cherry. So if you like cherry scents um, or like a little bit of cola influence scents, you might want to pick that one up, especially if you like scents that last. The next one that really surprised me, I friggin love this one. I toyed about putting it in my Scentsy Club, but I think I'll just stock up is Melon Apple Granita. So I have a full bar, but I did warm, oh my lord, I did warm my, my own bar that I had. So that's what the packaging used to look like. I warmed four cubes. So this one here was a big surprise for me because I wasn't expecting a lot of it and then I end up really, really liking it. It's described as crisp, crisp apple, sweet melon and sparkling citrus. And I, it reminds me of a green apple. I feel like I get a lot of watermelon patch vibe with it. I don't know about cantaloupe, I don't really get cantaloupe with it. And I get tangy citrus with it. That's what I get. Strength and throw, eight, and eight out of 10 in both locations I warmed it in. Lasted many days, I was so impressed. If you like long lasting fruity scents, I wanna pick this one up. If you like scents with a little watermelon or maybe cantaloupe undertone, you wanna pick this one up. But it's definitely got that beautiful, beautiful citrus as well. And I, on, ironically, I don't get as much apple in this. So that is melon and apple granita. I will definitely be picking up multiples of that. We're gonna move into flirtatious. So this one is a full bar. I actually have a really, really old bar that I was full. Look at that old bar. I warmed up four cubes of flirtatious. Now this one here is right up my alley except for one note. It's green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. I'm not crazy about amber but I really enjoy this scent. And I still might put it in my Scentsy Club. I don't know. I don't, the amber is a, a white amber which I can tolerate. It's the, the golden amber and the darker ambers I have trouble with. But a strength and throw of about a seven and a half on this. And I had both locations I had it going were about two days. I would say better for small to medium rooms for this one. And I will pick up a few bars. It almost reminds me of like a perfumey fruit. A perfumey grapefruit. The grapefruit can be very bitter. This is not. 
the apple really helps smooth it out and, and sweeten it. So if that sounds like something that you would like, give that one a try. It's very, very enjoyable. Another one that I I'm still might put in my Scentsy Club, if not, I'm definitely going to stock up. And I have a partially used, I, I use six cubes out of my old bar, and I have the full bar here, and that is spiced grapefruit. This one is oh so good. Oh, man. And and I think it was Tori, as she said, it reminded her of Wasail Wonderland. Is that what it's called? And she is spot on with that. So the scent notes for spice grapefruit are mandarin, bergamot citrus, coriander, nutmeg, and allspice. And bergamot citrus is kind of the grapefruit part of spice grapefruit. So even though that it doesn't say grapefruit, but that's kind of what bergamot citrus kind of involves. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a wild grapefruit. I would think of it that way. Oh, this is so good. Great for August into September. And I think great for coming out of winter too, because the spices and the grapefruit, it just gives a nice, clean, fresh smell. And this one here was pretty strong. I had it in my open concept layout. It was eight out of 10. And the next, on day two, it was four out of 10. And the spices are very nice. It doesn't have cinnamon. A lot of people hate cinnamon. So if you like spice, but you don't like cinnamon, you want to go with this. If you like citrus, mandarin, tangy scents, you want to go with this. It is appropriate for any space, really. I mean, a bedroom might not be, it might not lead to romantic feelings and things like that, but this is nice. I really like spice grapefruit. Welcome to my world, spice grapefruit. <laughs> I've missed you. And it, and it lasted a fairly long time, like about average amount for me. The next one is a very long lasting scent. And I really, really like this one. And it is pink tulips. I warmed up four cubes of this one. This one really kind of won me over. It reminds me a lot of a certain scent that I like a lot. So this one, the scent notes are, okay, I'm gonna read them out to you here. Uh, pink tulip blossoms, crisp apple, juicy raspberries, and night blooming jasmine. The actual tulip blossoms part doesn't really say, it kind of alludes to that. Mmm, this is so nice. It's very, it's like a light to medium scent. So I think I had it around six to six and a half, but man, it lasts days and days in my house. The days and days are not at six, six and a half the whole time. They start to fizzle out, but this is a very nice scent. If you think it's going to smell like a bang out floral, you're wrong. It's more like a perfumey, fruity floral. It's very, very nice. If you like scents like Plum and White Woods, you might like this. If you like, I think it's called Florida Mariposa, you might like this. If you like Shimmer, you might like this. So those are scents it kind of reminds me of. I would say great for a bedroom. Great for a young girl's room. Great for a sunny room. It just puts you in a good mood. That is Pink Tulips. Very, very, very nice. Almost gone in my Scentsy Club, but I was trying to be picky with my Scentsy Club. So speaking of, I have three bars here that I will put, be putting in my Scentsy Club for sure. The first one we are going to talk about, well, let's talk about this one because I'm on this page. This is the one that I voted for intensely and I really wanted to come back. Six cubes are gone and it is simply vanilla. And it's basically the pure fragrance of classically warm vanilla. I love it. It is so nice and warm. It's so nice. It's almost like like lotion that you'd want to put on vanilla, but it doesn't smell perfumey to me. It's just a nice fragrant vanilla. Sometimes when you say perfumey vanilla, you picture perfume. I want to describe this as a nice fragrant vanilla because that kind of implies like a body care product, but not like an in your face uh, perfume product, if, if you catch my drift. Very, very nice, about eight out of 10 in my open concept layout. It does die out, down after a few hours and then you're kind of left with a lower level scent. And I thought, well, this is like not lasting very long. The next day I tried it again and I could definitely smell it no problem again. So I'm like, sometimes you might go to nose blind to a scent like this in a big zone, but it definitely provides a beautiful background scent. The other spot I warmed it in my daughter's room and it lasted a long time in her room. And I had it strengthened through there about seven and a half. So it was a bit stronger than I thought it was gonna be um, in her room. Yeah, because her room gets really hot. Another one of those hot rooms. Scentsy Club, going in, maybe even two bars at a time. Love it. Another one I really, really liked a lot was the Brown Wax of Coffee Tree. 
This one is nice and strong. I'll read you this description. It's basically bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. This is not bitter. It's almost like a coffee with a little tiny bit of sugar, no cream. I don't even drink coffee, but I friggin' love this so much. I feel like I should become a coffee drinker now. It's going to my Scentsy Club. I really, really like it. I don't like Breakfast Blend. Breakfast Blend to me has an underlying, I don't know if it's like a sandalwood. They're trying to fancy up the coffee scent. This is just nice coffee. Simple, what you want, coffee. That is Coffee Tree and it's strong and it lasted a fairly long time. I had it in one area, nine out of 10. Um, I, um, that was my open concept space, nine out of 10. And I had it go in two days. I kind of probably should have removed it because it was it was definitely dying down, but I was getting lazy. And in the other area I warmed it, it was eight and a half, nine out of 10. So I was very, very, very impressed with Coffee Tree. If you like Breakfast Blend, even a little, you want to pick that one up instead because <laughs> it's better in my opinion. This one is the one that kind of surprised me. I mean, I was hoping I was going to like it and I really like it and I can't stop thinking about it. And it is the White Wax of Lux Vanilla. I used up four cubes. I used some up in my bedroom here and I used some up in my daughter's room. It lasted many, many days. The scent notes are musk, cyclamen, jasmine, and vanilla. So we have musk and we have cyclamen with just a floral. It's the floral of the year. We have jasmine and vanilla. So the vanilla almost, something in this, it reminds me of a cool scent. More on the cool side. I love it. It reminds me of something that's very clean and fresh. And I know this is gonna sound weird, but it, something about it reminds me of those candy cigarettes that you used to chew as a kid. Must be the vanilla part of it, but, and I, I don't want you to go, oh, I'm not getting it, because that's a stupid thing to say, but the, <laughs> this is so good. I friggin' love this so much. Oh, it's so good. Erica, my daughter, she kept turning it on when I would turn it off. I said, what are you doing? You're screwing around my, with my tests. And she goes, well, my room smelled bad and this smells so good. <laughs> so anyway, we both really, really liked this. It's great for a bedroom. I would say it was about seven and a half out of 10 in both those spots. And I had it going many days and it obviously starts to fade down, but it definitely holds its own. So I friggin' love this so much. I can't speak more highly of that. So, so we, we, we pretty much have just one scent left and I'm, I'm all out of categories, but this next one is it's in a category all in its own. And for me, it's going to be in the category of the, I'm going to call it like the never will I ever again want to warm this scent and it is tomato vine. So I'm going to apologize to all the tomato vine fans out there. I'm hoping we can still be friends, but this one is definitely not for me. I really, really did not like this one at all. So it's basically robust ripe tomato vine so it's definitely ripe sometimes i can get like a like a borderline overripe tomato smell in the background it's very green with a tangy sap note so picture sap with green and that's what you get now i want you to take that scent and drive up the intensity dramatically so the strength and throw in my bonus room which was struggling with a lot of scents recently was like nine out of ten maybe even nine and a half I warmed some in my open concept layout in my overnight warmers and it's so, so strong. Like I'd get up in the morning and it would hit me. I would even have my door closed and it was creeping in under the door. It was like the vines were like growing in under the door. It was coming to get me tomato vine. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I warmed five cubes. If you're local to me and you want these three cubes, please let me know. I will definitely give them to you. Oh, it's strong. It's strong. Yeah, I think that the people that vote this back, they really love it so much that they constantly voted. There's got to be a lot of people that like it, but there's also a lot of people that don't. So it's just one of those polarizing scents. Um, I'm glad to have tried it. I probably would say it's my least favorite Scentsy scent, unfortunately, but um, yeah, again, not all scents can be home runs. And in fact, I would say most of these scents I did fairly well with. I tolerated them very well. I didn't dislike any except for this one. So that's it. This is going to be a long video. I'm going to try to edit it down. If there are any favorites or standouts for you, of course, you know, I want to know what those are. So thanks for spending the last million minutes with me. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. 
And if you are new, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. We're trying to get to that thousand so we can get to that live video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.